Take it easy with me. I said, move. Take it easy with me. I said, move. You're hurting me. Move. Move. Stop pushing me. Move. 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 Don't take it. Why don't you take it easy with me now? I said, move. Yeah, welcome, Sam. Yes, please. I'd like to see a uh, particular. Yeah, my name is Dr. Ken Abalidio. You're welcome, Sam. Okay, awesome. Take me to DPO. Sir, you can Get your lawyer while we await the result of the autopsy. Alright? You want let me see the DPO. I'll be right back. Until the autopsy result comes out. In that way, we'll know where the case points. Okay, okay. Uh, is there no way she can be bailed? Oh, no. You can't bail a mother suspect just like that. It is the court that can grant her bail. Um, get her a lawyer. Because we'll be charging her to court as soon as the autopsy result comes out. Well, what if the man died of cardiac arrest? Huh? Well, Doctor, let us wait until the autopsy result comes out. But uh, come to think of it, if a man stays alone in his house with his wife, she gives him food, he eats, and he dies. She is definitely the prime suspect, especially if it has been established that they have been living like cat and mouse of recent. You have a point here, DPO. Um... All right, uh, I'll keep in touch. Thank no you so worries. much. Have a fine day. All right. Thanks.
London, here I come. This boy should hurry up with the issuance of this visa. After all, he's been paid extra for all his efforts. Why is he wasting time? Eh? I don't have time here here. Because this is the only thing that is connecting Ben to me. I see the crazy. You go tell me that day, whether I'm the same mama boy. That boy in my heart. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same mama boy. Then you go tell me whether I'm the same My daughter, how can you be all right? Look at you. Look at you, Rita. Something has definitely snapped in your system, Rita. This is not you. This is not you, Rita. Tell me, Rita. Tell me, I want you to swear for me that all the anger pain has done to you has not made you lose control. Why well, didn't do it? I didn't do it, Mama. Rita, are you sure? Mm. But they say you vomited blood. very much. Um, I came to give you an information that is very important to my company and maybe to your investigation. Oh, really? Ah, go ahead, sir. Um, you see, ben went home with uh, the company's six million naira cash last weekend. The money was paid to us by Sintinex, our client, and uh, he couldn't pay it into the account. So we want the money back and it's now left for you to see if it has any bearing to this case. Six million naira. Why would he go home with such a large sum of money? <laughs> Officer, you see, sometimes these transactions last until banks have closed. Well, that is interesting, but um, certainly dangerous. I will tell my men to take this lead up. Six million naira is enough motive for murder. Oh, you are right, Officer. Um, all the same, thank you very much. I must be on my way now. Okay. Thank, you're you're very much. thank you very much.
where is the money your husband brought him on Friday? Madam, where is the money your husband brought home on Friday? My husband didn't bring any money home on Friday. In fact, he didn't even come back home on Friday. So where was he? I don't know. You are the police, so find out. Look, woman, you better answer me when I ask you questions, okay? I didn't see any money. He didn't come back home with any bag. Liar! That's why you killed him, huh? Look, you must bring that six million. If not, you will die in this police cell. What do I care? After all, I'm already dying for what I don't know. Constable! Sir. Come and take her back into the cell. Okay. We are going to the house for searching immediately. Well, you will talk, oh. You must talk. Wait until you come back with that man. Take her back into the cell. It is impossible. What do you mean that your boy did not see the bag? That is the situation, sir. No bag was seen in the house. Then they must have removed it. This is a cold-blooded murder for the money. Oh, please, let us not jump into conclusion. We are still investigating. Well, officer, you must do everything possible to recover that money. My company will be grateful if you do. We will try our best, sir. Madam. Madam. As you can see, I am... Officer, the woman in the cell is my daughter. Oh, in that case, please come in. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. What do you know about uh, the money your son-in-law brought back last weekend? Sorry? The money. Which money? I thought you the police should have gone to that Harlot's house where he slept. It is because of that Harlot. He came back and beat up my daughter like housemaid. If he had any money, he's there, he kept it. Hmm, officer, I am disappointed that there's a, a development like this and people are doing nothing about it. Oh, please don't talk like this. It's police magicians. We work with information. Where nobody comes forward with any information, how do we know? Uh, please, uh, madam. You need to make a statement. Tell us all you know about this case. Officer, no problem. All I know, my daughter is innocent. Get me the paper and Let me write it. Yes, um, yes Officer Hussein. I am sending you the mother of the woman in the cell. Let her make a statement. Yes, immediately. Um, yes, uh, madam. Please go to the outer office and ask of the IPO. He will allow you to make a statement. I will, officer. But there's something I want you to know. Yes, what is it? The innocent should not be left to suffer unjustly. Good day. Well, officer, I should get my way. Please keep me in the know how to develop in this case. Okay? No, no problem. No problem. Do you know Mr. Ben of JBL Oil and Gas Limited? Uh, well, I know one Mr. Ben, but I don't know where he works. Did he come to this house on Friday? Yes, he was here on Friday, but his wife came here and fought him. What do you mean? The poor man was afraid. 
The woman came out, slapping him all around this whole streets. You can ask the neighbors, they were aware of what happened here. So he was so afraid and embarrassed, he took his things and fled. Okay. You mean he was here all through on Friday? No, no, officer. Abba. He was not here all through Friday. Friday. Ever since he left my house, I have not seen him. Who is he to you? Well, you know how men are now. You know? I went, I was at the eatery. So he came and said he likes me. And before I knew it, he had traced me to this my house here. Ever since then, we've been friends. But I did not know he was living with any woman. Honestly, he did not tell me. I'm not aware of it. But what is the matter? What's wrong? What? What is? What's, what's happened? Did he come to this house with a bag? The bag. With a bag? No. I didn't see him with a bag. <laughs> well, Mr. Ben is dead, and we have to search the house. Ah! Oh my God! Guys, man outside. Copper, come on, let's go. See, I wonder if your friend is as innocent as you thought. Oh my God. Oh God, God, God. Well, she will be charged to court uh, soon. We have enough evidence to prosecute. See results indicate otherwise. Traces of cyanide were found in his food. There were just two of you when this thing occurred.
competence is overwhelming. How do you explain Sinai his food? How do you explain that? Look, autopsy cannot lie. refused to eat anything. She be in court in two days. And she says you are the only person who can help her. I uh um but I think I've done my bit. I instructed my friend Barista Fred to handle her case. I think that's 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 fair enough. Doctor Kane, that's not enough. Do you believe that Rita is innocent? No, uh, Mrs. Johnson, the question is, do you believe your daughter is innocent? Yes, I believe my daughter is innocent. She's my daughter. I know what she's capable of. But Dr. King, I'm surprised. You know Rita since your school days. And you know what she's capable of. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, you don't have any reason to be surprised. The facts are the facts. Cyanide was discovered in the, in, in the man's food. Besides, she was the only person with this man when he died. What do you want me to believe? So you believe Rita is guilty? It's not what I... What I believe is what the autopsy states. Look, I'm a scientist. I, I, I don't have any reason to doubt the autopsy. Dr. K, if you believe Rita is guilty, why are you sending a lawyer? Allow her to hang. That's the moral thing you can do. But I know my daughter is innocent. The guilty harlot is roaming about. Why police hunt my daughter? <laughs> After all, the money they said Ben came back from the office with, which he never brought home. Whatever happens to Ben is connected to the money. Uh, madam, I um, I have a patient waiting for me. I was going to pick something from the lab when I saw you, so I like to um, you know um, attend to my patient now, please. Doctor Kane, please, Rita needs your help. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, yes but I must. Uh, but please, I must uh, pick uh, something from the lab. Okay, please. I'll, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, then you can't return what?
I can't lose this brain. I'm really sorry. Uh, oh, what am I supposed to do now? I'm, I'm really sorry. Look, look, okay. Uh, here, here, here's my card. Is uh, that the point? No, please, please, if I can get your address, I'll send my mechanic to pick the car tomorrow and fix it. I'm really sorry to bother. Uh, I have a very pretty lady like you. You're a medical doctor? But yes, but that doesn't give me a right to pass your car. I I'm really sorry about this. Can I get... Oh, oh. Okay, here, right? Tomorrow morning, my mechanic will be at the place with your car. Could you, could you just smoke okay, your sure, car? Sure, I will, sure, I will. I'm really sorry about this, okay? All right, then. All right, great.
Good morning. Good morning. I thought you said you were going to send your mechanic over. Yes, uh, but I changed my mind. Actually, I want to take care of it myself. Let me work. This is for you. It's not necessary. I'm afraid my upbringing says give a beautiful man flowers, especially after offending her. Please. such a healthy looking boy and he's handsome too. So, Junior, this is Uncle Ken. He's a doctor. So what do you say? Say hello to him. Welcome, Uncle Ken. Thanks, my dear. Come to think of it, if he's not had his yearly checkup, you can bring him to my clinic. I'll give him a comprehensive test, free of charge. Oh, that's so nice of you. You're welcome. Uncle Ken won't give you injection. Oh, no, darling. Uncle Ken won't give you injection. <laughs> He's so scared of the injections. Don't worry. No injections, okay? Uh, Alright, come to think of um, Okay, I'll have to take the car now. So that I can fix it. No, don't worry. I'll fix it myself. What are you saying? Don't worry, I'll do it myself. You're such a nice person. I don't bother about it. It's not necessary. This, this is just, this is just amazing. You're not only beautiful, you have such a wonderful heart. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, um, would you like me to get you coffee, tea, anything? Um, yeah, coffee would do. All right, Junior. Keep Uncle Care company. Then we'll get you coffee, okay? Excuse me. Are you going to be my new daddy? Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Come here. You're such a smart boy. Oh my god, what did you eat this morning? Your belly looks like uh, you had like three wraps of abu. Oh, is it Milo? What, what did you eat? You ate Milo? It looks like small tum tum. You know what called tum tum? <laughs> it's called case of bladder. <laughs> so how did it go? Um, well, we've introduced the case and the prosecutors have made their opening arguments. But I'm going to do mine by the next sitting. But meanwhile, the judge ordered that she be remanded in the police custody. So when, um, when is the next court session? Um, say in three days' time. Okay, please, I want you to do me a favor. Just try and buy as much time as you can. I'm up to something that might prove which are innocent. Um, well, you have to do whatever you want to do very fast because it's not too good at this point. Yeah, don't worry, please. Just do your best, okay? Thanks a lot, mate. Okay. Even Dr. Ken 
Yes. I'm killed. Well, um, I don't know about Dr. King. All I know, I've talked with him. I believe he has heard me. Uh, Madam, it's time to go. Your time is up. Uh, officer, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The good Lord is with you. Takes of time. Mm. Mm. Mom, who can give me injection? Oh, don't worry, darling. This injection is good for you, okay? <laughs> so, Dr. Ken. Thank you so much. It's been so long. Thank you. Right. In two days' time, I'm going to bring the results over to the house. All right? All right? Thank you. You're such a nice person. Ah, anytime. You know what, Junior? I'm okay. going to get you your favorite candy. Okay? Did you hear okay. that? What do you say? Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Let me see you there. Come on, baby. Going on. Investigations of this nature, they take time, sir. But I am here for a different reason. Uh, yes. What is it? Well, sir, we found out during the course of our investigation that your daughter died as a result of an affair she had with Mr. Ben. Yes. You're right. I just uh, found out after Ben died. Are you sure of that, sir? Look, officer, leave my daughter's death out of this, okay? Mm. Well, I am sorry, sir. I know it is painful. But you see, information of this nature, they're essential in this case. Officer, I do not see what my daughter's death has got to do with your investigation. Just find our money and that is all. Um, well, sir, when you knew of uh, Mr. Ben's involvement, you went to the hospital to threaten him and he died two days later. What have you got to say about this? Well, I, I was just angry, that's all. How could Ben do that to me? I have known Ben for the past 12 years. Ben knew my daughter when she was barely 10 years old. We are business associates. How could you do that to me? Well, I am sorry, sir. But you see, we owe it to the defense council as an obligation to let them know about this. Look, officer, please leave my daughter's death out of this. I beg you. It will kill me. Please. Well, sir.
you know I must say it's very beautiful woman. Thank you. You know God works in mysterious ways. You just look at the two of us, the way he brought us together. How are you so sure he brought us together? <laughs> Have you made I mean, can you just allow accidents to happen just like that? Of course. Of course. You see, God must allow something for you to happen. I think you have a point there. Only I wish I've got enough time to spend with you. Right? Where are you going? Eat your food. No, I should say thanks. I had a wonderful time. Can you go to the hospital? Yeah, sure. I... You have a patient there? Yeah, of course. Oh, you know, I... Hey, 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 young boy, how you doing? Hello, sweet. Come on, come to mama. <laughs> come, 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 baby. How was school today? <laughs> what? Did you learn something new today? Can you learn something new at school today? <laughs> mom, it's so yes. okay. good to be my new dad. Naughty, naughty, naughty boy! Okay, come, come, go upstairs and run down. Come in upstairs and run with your uniform, okay? Okay. Alright, darling. Go, 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 come. for you, sir. No, no, no. Here's the report I told you about. Okay. So, Dr. Ken, what you are trying to tell me now is that uh, the baby boy couldn't have been Mr. Ben's uh, child as speculator. 100% sure. Based on the general results. Hmm. So, what do you want? Good. You see, DPO. I am totally convinced that that woman in there is innocent. You have this theory I've been playing with, you know. What I'm actually saying is, I need your permission to investigate it. Dr. Ken. Yes. Well, you are not a police officer. Honestly, I... I have this total belief that Mrs. Ben is not a murderer. You have to be very careful, lest Linda should find out what your original motive is. No, no problem, no problem at all. I will be most, most careful, most discreet. You must distance yourself from this case as much as possible. We do not want these people to find out what you are up to. Oh, honestly, TPO, I, I just feel strongly that we're about convicting an innocent person. Well, let us wait and see. Thank you. We are keeping these copies. No problem, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay. Have a fine day. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Sorry, I won't be able no, to see No, no problem. You're God bless welcome. you. Okay, you Thank too. you. Bye.
Bata kuchu. Hey. Madam. 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 Hey. It's like this one has committed suicide. Hey. Osi. Osi, Bobo. To have some fun, but waiting we go do. Mm -hmm. No need to party with the ones we see. But this way do not go stop until we drop party. People make we share everybody. No be so, these chicks just they let too much No be after four, where well, we've been they go Cross wait, make we just uh, So check it out, so get up, get down MC Love in the house, uh, no doubt I'm about to turn this party To have some fun, but waiting we go do. Mm -hmm. No need to party with the ones we see. But this way do not go stop until we drop party. People make we share everybody. No be so, these chicks just they let too much No be after four, where well, we've been they go Cross wait, make we just do uh, So check it out, so get up, get down MC Love in the house, uh, no doubt I'm about to turn this party out So better jump around, cause this baby don't stop Inside this place, my brother man, nobody they slack right. Everybody they dance, so many people they sweat I'm gonna get bent down and shake, wait till you get The beat is pumping, and we about to blow up the area Yeah what? Oh, okay, 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 okay.
sorry. Please don't do that, Andy. My daughter. Okay. If you like, throw your face away. I just think you've been stupid trying what you did. That is what I'm telling her. I mean, why, why would you even contemplate suicide? Of all things! Everybody thinks I'm cute. you. Why should I be? You have a million and one reasons to leave. Yes. You see, the police and I are working on something to prove your innocence. Yes, something that will prove you innocent. So if you commit suicide, how are we going to prove you innocent? How? Rita, you've heard him. Just keep faith in God. My Lord will vindicate you. The Lord I'm serving is never asleep. He's not. That is true. God will vindicate you. Amen. And by the way, officer, how come she still has the same cloth after so many weeks of incarceration? Sir, we asked her to change her clothes if she wants to. But she refused. She refused doing anything. Come on, Rita. Please. It's not that bad yet. Okay? All right, Mama, I will... Uh, go and see the nurses and uh, confirm things they've done so far. Okay, thank you very much. No, no, she'll be all right, okay? Just relax. Okay, Rita? Alright, we'll be fine. Young man, <laughs> come here. Hey, how you doing? That's nice. Oh, it looks nice. I like your uniform. Thank you. What's mommy doing upstairs? She's wearing her clothes. Oh, that's good. Good. You know what? You're so intelligent. And I have this feeling you're going to come out tops in the class this time. Number one. Mom, mommy said I'm not going to finish in high school. Why? We're traveling to London. Are you talking to London? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh my God. Wow, mommy's coming. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Ready for school now? Oh. Okay. oh. I'm so sorry. I need to take him to school. All right. Um, do you want to wait for me when I go to school? I won't be up to 30 minutes. Just to drop him off at school. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so now there's a normal long. I'll be back in the Okay. All right, darling. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Say bye bye to you, okay? Hey, young man. High five for me. <laughs> oh, don't miss the first there. Okay. All right, see ya. Okay. And I like that.
just that I got this uh, uh, call from the office. I need to be in the hospital uh, uh, right now. Oh. Yeah. Really? Why so soon? Well, you know, I live with um, great doctors. See what the problem is getting friendly, becoming friendly to medical doctors. I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you. Okay. Okay? okay. I'm really, really sorry. I, 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 I really must rush up now. Okay? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a call when I get to the hospital, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. Are you looking? Okay? All right? <laughs> Thank Gorgeous. you. Gorgeous. Thank Adieu. you. All right, then. All right. Uh, so the robbers have crossed the east side. Okay, you put uh, the squad cars to block them by the other side. Okay, so you intercept them. Okay, over and out. Well, Barista friends, thank you. you're welcome. Thank you very much. I invited you so as to brief you on some of the facts uncovered by our investigation, which I feel the Defense Council should know. Alright, that's okay. Mr. Ben was responsible for Mr. Jack's daughter's death. What? He was the main man responsible for Mr. Jack's daughter's uh, pregnancy. And Mr. Jack knew two days to his death. Oh my God. This does not uh, prove anything yet. Since Mr. Ben died of cyanide poisoning in his food presented by your client. I know, I know, but, but at least there's something to work on. Um, well, Dr. Ken has been able to prove that uh, the woman who purportedly had a son uh, for Mr. Ben might have something to hide. We are working on it. One of my men has been sent to Kaduna where the woman claimed she lived last to investigate some documents. But uh, Barista Fred, I must tell you the truth. All the proven facts in this case does not help your client. You're right, sir. Like I said, I'm, I'm so grateful for what you've already done and what you've done so far. And um, because you're still investigating even when you're ready in court. Nobody would like uh, an innocent person to die for what he or she did not do. Nor would we want uh, the guilty to go scot-free. I'm so grateful, sir. Very, very grateful. Thank you very much. Well, I'm grateful for what I have to leave now. I'll see some of the Okay, okay. We are finding. Thank you.
Good day. Welcome. And um, please, could you just excuse me? I want to talk with my client. Okay. This is Ben. I'm outside. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're the only person she's going out for. What do you expect? Because she knows I'm your lawyer. Anyway, she's doing her job. You see, they don't want you to try anything again. Um, there are some new developments which might help us in our case. Or they might not, you know, it's a two-way thing anyway, but please, I don't want you to take anything I'm going to tell you now personal. Go ahead and listen. Your late husband was responsible for Anita, Mr. Jack's daughter's pregnancy. And Mr. Jack got to know about it on Saturday came to threaten him that day at the hospital, only for him to die on Monday. God. Pin. Pin, why? Why? God. So, how does that help me out? Well, at least we can get Mr. Jack to come and testify. And that should at least create doubt in the mind of the court. He had every reason to kill him. Another thing is that there are doubts now that the other woman's child is your husband's child. Dr. Ken, with the help of the police, is on that. That's why we asked for an adjournment because of this new development. And I believe the judge will grant it. God, help him. Why? Why? And why? <laughs> Yes, what is it this time? Well, you have to tell me exactly what, what you were doing and the place you were. In the morning, you asked Mr. Ben died, sir. Look, officer, I have told your DPO, I don't want to get involved in this. I didn't kill Ben. Actually, I'm more happy that he died. Well, you have to tell me exactly what you did on that day, sir. And um, you have to appear in court to say all you know. Oh, no. What sort of rubbish is this? Well, you have been expected at the station. Have a nice day, sir. Uh, you'll hear from my lawyer. Junior, you know you're a very good boy. Yes, my brother used to tell me that also. Really? Tell me. Where's your old daddy now? He is dead. Mommy said he has to die so that we can travel to London. What? 
Linda. Linda. Yes. Yes. What is it? Your son just told me that, that you told him that his father had to die because you guys are going to travel to London together. Is that true? Is that why you're shouting? Because of what the little boy said? Who are you, Dr. Kenner? What exactly do you want from us? It's not a case of what I want from you. What this boy just said is quite grave. It's quite serious. And a little boy like this will not fabricate a thing like that. <laughs> Dr. Ken, you just let little things disturb you. Come on, don't worry. You're going to find out so much about me pretty soon. Let me just go in and get you some tea, alright? Yes, Don't worry, Dr. Ken. You need to know the real me. That's what I really want. That's alright. Um, Junior, come on, baby. Come on now. Go upstairs and watch television, okay? Yes. Come on down. Right. Superman. Upstairs, upstairs, baby. No! to know the real me. You see, Dr. Ken, I'm a very sad woman. I believe all men do is use women. I know that from my own experience. You see, Dr. Ken, Men have done unprintable things to me. They use me, suck me dry, and dump me. Can I ask you a question? Am I not beautiful enough? Am I not pretty enough?
to be the wrong candidate. What did you want to hear, Dr. Ken? A uh, yes, I killed Bear. So yes! I had it all planned. I always do. Because I'm so smooth. This country. I have all this money in my hands, and let me see who is going to stop Junior and I from traveling to London tomorrow. The whole visa is already in my hands. And as for you, I'll dump you in the lagoon tonight. Okay. Where are you? Okay. Go 
I have monitored him for more than five months before we came to see me. And I knew he was my passport out of this country. His money is well in my hands and I will see who will stop me and Junior from traveling to London tomorrow. The visas are here already. As for you, I will dump you in a locum this night. That's enough. Yeah. Inspector Singh. Get your squad, go and arrest this woman immediately. Yes, sir. Sir, I'd like to come along. Ah, that's okay. Your work is done here. You are a good friend. It could be dangerous from now on. I know that, but please, I'd like to finish this. Well, okay, but be careful. Come on. Thank you so much. Please keep this. Please. Okay. Mommy, I don't like this dress. I want my own dress. Shut up, I keep still. Listen, Junior. We are attending a costume party. Okay? Mm. Good. So don't be worried. You're going to see a lot of your mates wearing female clothes like this. Now put your hands quickly. For a young man with a small boy of about seven. Check all the routes, especially the east-west street. Over and out.
Alors reste très bien. Comme d'hab. 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 Comme I will teach you a lesson when you get to the station. Well, I guess that's how God wants it. I'm right in hell. Go in, what you want me? Go inside, go inside. So, listen, I'll tell you. It's okay, I'll go. Go inside, go inside. Go inside, go inside. Before we move you right now. Inside. God sent to my family. God used you to save my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. This lady did the same thing with Kaduna. And that their largest wife was found guilty. People are heartless. We just have to thank God that she has not been executed. They have to retry her now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay.
Ma mis la nia, l'homme n'a pas de pâté. Il n'y a pas de pâté, il n'y a pas de pâté. But when we come to party, some chicks be gone to front. Like say them, no, no, say we barbers want to have some fun. But what we go do? Go be to party with the ones we see. But if we do not go stop, until we drop party, people make we share everybody. This party no be so These chicks just they learn too much No be after four Where we been they go Cross wait Make we just do uh, So check it out So get up Get down MC Love in the house uh, No doubt I'm about to turn this party out So better jump around Cause this baby don't stop Inside this place My brother man Nobody they slack right. Everybody they dance So many people they sweat I'm gonna get bent down And shake Wait till you get The beat is pumping And we about to blow up the area Anything you want One man I got a nigga Joe, hey. the point is over here, yeah. shut down away.